Since the beginning of my second term, Kenyans have witnessed a more aggressive and vibrant investigative and prosecutorial approach to slay the dragons of corruption and impunity. I want to once again make it clear, this is not a war against individuals or communities. It is war against a crime that robs us the opportunity to build a nation with shared prosperity for all. We have put in place a pro proactive program of prevention, as well as asset recovery, that will serve to guard the public purse, as well as ensure that those who benefited from proceeds of economic crime from the national or county government tills in the past surrender their ill-gotten gains to the people. I once again reaffirm my unshakable resolve and commitment to the fight against corruption at all levels of government. I will continue to offer my full support to all state agencies involved in this war. And once more, I call upon the judiciary to play its part to ensure that the wheels of justice in this war move with speed. In this regard, I expect all of us to desist from creating barriers, hurdles, and obstacles in the work of all the state agencies involved and in turn cooperate with them as they discharge their respective mandates. I call on all governors to join me in this generational struggle where we must emphatically say no to corruption and rein in on the corrupt within our respective governments with this shared, renewed zeal. I can assure all Kenyans that our brightest days lie ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, for so long, Kenyans have been debating devolution, its merits, and demerits. From what we have learned, the time has come to put this knowledge into acts and deeds that transform the lives of Kenyans. I would therefore be greatly elated to learn what each county has achieved since our last year's conference in Kakamega County. And I also expect counties to present their reports using preset yardsticks and indicators. In conclusion, I urge all county governments to turn their focus on delivering on the hopes and dreams of Kenyans through tireless commitment to duty, integrity, and servant leadership. Fiscal prudence and curbing wastage is a must at all levels to fully realize our development dream. Six years on, the state of our devolved units is strong and must be seen to deliver measurable improvements in the standard of living of our people. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to add three things. story <laughs> the whole day. Ya kwanza, ni kusisitiza hayo ni mesema juu ya vita vietu na corruption katika taifa letu la Kenya. Na mimi nataka ni seme hivi. Hii vita hatuta ishinda kwa mazishi, kwa arusi, sijui wapi. Hii vita tuko na wale ambao wamepatiwa kazi na jukumu ya kufanya hiyo kazi. Na mimi naamini na nafikiria wa Kenya wengi wanaamini ya kwamba wale ambao wamepatiwa hiyo kazi 
wako na uwezo wa kufanya na kutekeleza hiyo kazi. Tunaelewana na wenzangu? Okay? So hii mambo ya kila mtu kila siku kila siku unaongea Ngiliona mwingine akisema sijui nimeiba mali ya nani mimi namwambia wewe tembea hapa hapa Karura Forest hapa ofisi ziko hapo kwenda useme uhuru kile ameiba shida iko wapi jameni what is the problem lakini hii mambo ya kutishatisha watu ati kwa sababu umetaja kitu kwa mazishi huyo mtu ambaye amekufa hata kusaidia Yeah? Ule mtu ambaye hako na uwezo wa kukusaidia Ni DCI Kwenda upeleke huku walafu useme ni mepeleka kezigi Kulingana uhuru kinyata sijuwa meiba nini Sawa Nani ya mekuzuhia Kini hii mambo ya kutembea tembea kila siku Kupiga piga maneno maneno What inasaidia nani Now what do you have to fear Kwa sababu Hato ukija uambi umefanya makosa Si utapata nafasi ya kujitetea au ni namna gani wenzangu na kama bado unaendelea kuambiwa ya kwamba bado umefanya makosa si uende utafute wakili ndio uende kotini ndio usimame mbele ya koti useme huyu amesema nimeiba lakini mimi na wakili wangu hii ndio ushahidi wangu ya kwamba mimi siku why do we have to take it to funerals eh? how is it helping anybody <laughs> anyway hiyo ni moja <laughs> Eh, ya, ya, ya pili ni kuhusu hii mambo tunasema juu ya where do we get more money jana tulipata nafasi ya kukutana na ma governors kwa hili kikao yetu tunaita summit na tukakubaliana ya kwamba tunahitaji kama viongozi kuwa na kikao kujadilianda juu ya utumizi wa fedha ambazo wananchi wanatoa ikiwa kodi ndio waweze kupata huduma kwa serikali iwe ni serikali ya kitaifa ama serikali ya county kwa sababu tukiangalia sasa vile mambo inaendelea tukiwa inchi ya wananchi milioni karibu sasa sensa zikiisha labda tutakuwa labda 50 million sijui na iwe ya kwamba 52% of ordinary revenue ile tuna tuna tunapokea kama kodi kutoka wa Kenya 52% inaenda kwa mishahara ya wafanyikazi wa serikali Alafu another 30% inaenda kwa recurrent expenditure. Ile ambaye imebaki kuhudumia wananchi milioni hiyo nasema karibu 50 million ni 20%. Surely there is something wrong in that equation. Na wakati tuliongea sitaki kusema ni kaunti gani kwa sababu zote ziko na the same problem hata mimi serikali ya kitaifa we also have the same problem. Ha? Lakini kuna moja Revenue yake county ya revenue ni 9 billion Sasa 6 billion inaenda kulipa wafanyikazi elfu sita 3 billion ndio imebaki kuhudumia Wanainchi milioni mbili na kitu Is that correct? Right? Kuna kaunti ingine ambayo wanatumia 600 million ku oversee ama ku supervise kulingana na vile ni senator au speaker wa senator amesema you use 600 million to oversight 800 million now does that make does that make sense So jana tukiwa pamoja na viongozi wenzangu tulikubaliana ya kwamba there is time for us to have a national conference on this issue for us to be able to come up with clear 
guidelines, what policy, how do we tackle this monster? Because if we don't, we are not really doing justice to the people of this country. So together with the, my co-chair of the summit, tutapanga na tutaalika watu kutoka sekta zote. Tuje tujadiliane na tujue vile tutatekeleza na tutarekebisha mambo haya. Ndiyo iwe pesa zile nyingi zinaenda kwa wananchi lakini sio kwa mifuko ya wachache. E, nilisema niko na tatu. E, ya tatu lakini hii sio mbaya. <laughs> ya tatu ni kusema ya kwamba mimi naamini kwa dhati ya kwamba devolution is working. Na nasema hivyo kwa nini? Hata ukitembea nimepata nafasi kidogo ya kuweza kutembea kwa vibanda kadha hapa. Kuona ya kwamba mkaingia ya Kirinyaga tukaona kahawa yao tukaona ile soko wameweza kujipatia huko Amerika watu ambao watakuwa wanachukua tani tatu ya kahawa kuwezesha mkulima badala ya ile shilingi 20 ama 30 shillings alikuwa analipwa ataweza sasa kuwa analipwa over 120 shillings or something like that see that is a good thing nikapitia hapo ya makueni unaona vile wamefanya hapo e, mambo ya, 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 ya e, mangoes na kutengeneza juice na mambo mengine ya yeah? giving income to over 100,000 households you you can see that there is something real that is happening in the ground ile mimi ningeomba ni ya kwamba Let us keep this focus on work. Because this is what our people want. Tulikuwa <laughs> juzi kwa mazishi ingine. Mtu ananiambia sasa rais wewe waende utafute sijui kuku za za Uganda sijui zina mayai inatoa mayai kwa bei ya chini atinienda nikatafute unga kwa bei ya chini mimi naangalia ha, hapa nimeona hapa kwa Kirenyaga hapa wanajitengenezea chakula yao they are going to be doing over a million eggs i think every month at cheaper prices which can compete with Uganda so mimi ningetaka kushauri huyu alikuwa ananiambia mambo hiyo Hakuna haja ya kunifuata kwa mazishi shingine kuniuliza kwenda hapa hapa Kirinyaga hapa watakuonesha vile hiyo kazi inafanywa ndio upeleke nyumbani ufundishe huko si ni namna hiyo au ni namna gani na mimi najua tukifanya hivyo Kenya itasonga mbele vijana wapate kazi tuwe na Kenya moja ambaye watu wameungana na wanafurahiana and that is the spirit of shared prosperity si ni namna hiyo Mungu awabariki na walinde. Asanteni sana.